All right, let's see. Am I live? Am I live? Is it working? Come on. Can people hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Great, because I can't hear me for some reason. I'm not sure why. And I would like to be able to hear. Oh, did I not? I'll bet you I didn't. No, I did plug it in. I didn't want to use my bulky headphones, but for some reason I can't hear with this stupid thing. So bulky headphones it is. Oh. All right. Well, I want to be able to hear me because I want to hear every time people do things on the channel. So let's see if this works. Test. Oh, for some reason, it's not working on my end. All right. Well, <laughs> am I muted? Sorry, everyone. Hang on. Nope. Well, that's okay. As long as you guys can hear me, that's fine. That's all that matters. Hello, 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 and welcome. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. To the Painted Hero Tavern, where we immortalize these, you know, heroes and villains and monsters and even locations as painted minis. So, and this is my first... Let's see if I do this. This is my first here. That is not working. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. This is my first uh, hero. He is uh, my husband's um, Skull and Shackles character, uh, Yento, what the heck is his name? Bright Song, who is our ship's cook, because halfling. I mean, he kind of got roped into the role, which was really funny. Um, <laughs> but uh, heroes, monsters, and villains, oh my! Ah! All right, so without further ado, I guess I'll start painting. If I can freaking see anything. These glasses are good for about here. They're not good for beyond there. So what am I going to do first? I'm going to do what the bane of every mini painter in existence. I'm going to paint the eyes. Because, <laughs> you know, I just like getting them done and out of the way so that I don't have to worry about them later. And if they come out good, it sort of inspires me to, you know, keep going. Uh, let's see, I need, so I'm gonna basically, and by the way, you'll notice my big dirty secret is I do use these kind of paints. Not many, I just use it for black and white because I use a lot of black and white in my uh, pieces, so. You know, it just costs a lot less. And I'll mix a lot it in a lot of times. So it's, you know, I'm not, I don't always just paint this on. Um, so for my eyes, I'm going to have uh, off-white. So I love Reaper's Bleach Linen. And then I have also paint a line around the eyeball. It has, uh, all my minis have eyeliner. So I used, I want to take like a darker brown. Actually, I don't think I want ruddy leather. I want a ruddy leather. I think I want, I said, I can't see crap with, the, with these glasses on. Uh, I'm gonna do like dark highlight. I'm trying to like put back, you can tell their, boy, their labels fade, don't they? Um, I'm gonna use a dark highlight around the eyes. So how is everybody today? While I get this set up, is everybody doing good? Oh, don't you freaking dare start that twitch. Don't you freaking dare start lagging. All right, that's it. I hope, I hope all you wonderful people out in Twitch land are okay, are doing good. I'll be, hey, Carlos, good to see you. Oh, by the way, I also wanna thank you, everyone who followed me already. I mean, it's like, it's crazy. I, I already have 40 followers and you need 50 for affiliate. I'm kind of looking forward to get there because I could do more fun things for you all. So, let's see. So, as I said, first thing I'm going to do, well, actually, on this guy, there's only one eye. So, hey, there's that. Oh, hey, Goblin King. And by the way, if any of you people don't follow, let's see, who here streams? So, let's see, Garrett streams. Uh, Carlos or CA, is it Berlitz? Berlitz streams. And of course, Michael Mortar, our 
Fearless Goblin King, he streams as well. If you're not following them, follow all of them because they're awesome and they have great streams. Uh, I mean, especially with Michaels, we love to go on there and make all sorts of inappropriate talk to make him laugh. Let's see, my color first. God, I'm like nervous. I shouldn't be nervous because I love to talk. Yeah, all hail to the king. I wish you were hanging around because then you can make you get revenge for all the things I do to you on your chat, Michael. Because I, God knows, I sit there and I specifically try to make you laugh because I love your laugh. Moist! Thank you, Gareth! And the other thing I say, my worst habit is I am a brush licker. So I don't, I tend to clean them first. It's not like I just take it and put it in the paint and point my brushes. No, I clean them off first, wipe them off, and then I, I just point them with my mouth. I don't actually really lick them. Come on, give me a good point. All right, so I'm going to take some of that off white and I'm just going to fill in the socket and I don't care if I go uh, outside of the socket because I haven't painted the rest of that face. It is very true. Keeping the brush voiced is most important. Where's Michelle for these moments? Oh, wait, that's right. I don't think she can uh, pop in on today, which is too bad. But you're right. Keeping the brush moist is key. So I let that dry, and it should take like a second to dry because it's acrylic paint. And now I'm just going to put... This is, this is for tabletop and not like competition level, so I'm just going to put a black... And I'm, I do dots, but you can do, um, you can draw a line that goes across it. Oh, that's good. I just friggin' put paint where I didn't want it to go. But I just tend to put a dot, and I put it towards the top part of the lid, not the bottom, because that's where it tends, it tends to be, your eyeball tends to sit up, uh, high up in your, uh, the pupil tends to sit high up, so. All right, I actually like that. And then I'm going to take my brown. Oh my god, Gareth, you're terrible! This, You guys are going to get me slapped with a uh, mature rating right off the bat. Of course, I'll probably get it slapped with a mature rating because I have been known to um, <clears throat> swear like a sailor. Which is so appropriate because today is Pirate Day! <laughs> I freaking love you guys. So... For later references, uh, if I do post these videos, or I'm going to post these videos on YouTube. I have a Muses Touch YouTube channel set up. Uh, so, um, so for the reference of that, Gareth saying, and using your tongue to keep your brush moist is best, especially when you twirl it around in there. Because <laughs> Michael Mortar showed up, so we had to have the moist reference, because God knows we do. So the next step, <laughs> the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the highlight around the, eye, around the eyeball. Now, I do have to kind of care about the inside of the eyeball. I don't want a brown paint in there, but I don't care as much about the outside because I, yet again, I still haven't painted it, so it won't require a lot of touching up. So I'm just going to go in and get a little more paint on there. If you notice, I use a, tr uh, the, what did I do? I grabbed the wrong brush. I'm using my zero. <laughs> but my zero has a really good point, so it should still work for this pretty well. There's the bottom. This is metal, so at least I can actually see the eyeball. Some of the bones, I love Reaper bones, but <laughs> we all know that some of their details are kind of washed out. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure that's what summons Michelle to the thing is when we start saying moist too, but... Uh... Oh, I heard that. Oh, I heard that. Where's the sound? I guess I now do have sound, or at least the alerts. Who just did something? I can't say. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for following. Oh, oh my God. It's a Don from Hex Grid Heroes. He's my GM for our Starfinder podcast, which is funny enough called 
Hex Grid Heroes, uh, where I play a tiefling soldier named Tally. And she is uh, she's pretty crazy. Don can, Don can uh, attest to this. Hi, Don. How you doing? Elegant, and it's Theraval. Oh, you know what? There, you know what, Theraval? I need to do something at some point. I need to add your challenge to this, my little Streamlabs notifications because I want as many mini painters out there involved. I think that's cool. I still have to order the figure, though. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I need to order it. Uh, I am also debating, too, whether I want to blow the extra money and order it as a metal piece because you can get that one as metal um, and not just bones. So, and if I do that, I might try to paint it up really good like I did the Naga and maybe bring it to a painting competition at one of the cons I'm going to later this summer. All right, so. DJ! It's my best friend, DJ. Holy crap, he showed up. <laughs> Hi, DJ! Hi from downstairs. He's up, he's up two floors from me uh, upstairs in, in his room because he's not only... He's our best friend and he's our, <clears throat> and he's our tenant. So, uh, so it's pretty cool that he's watching from upstairs. Hi, DJ. All right, see, I got to pick out a color for his face. Now, my husband wanted, he wants this guy to be a little bit tanned, but he's fairly fair skinned. Oh, God. Thank you so much, Darrell. And hello, good to see you. Oh my God, so many people are popping in. This is fantastic. <clears throat> Let's see if my voice holds out for two hours. Because yes, I'm going to go two hours. Oh my God, you haven't even... Theraval, you haven't even ordered it yours yet either? That's funny. You know, maybe I will just use... I think I'm going to use bronze skin. Because I want to make him tanned. Oh yeah, it's so good to see you all. It's so good to see everybody on here. I think that was my favorite part of this was knowing, you know, having a bunch of you show up and where I could actually talk to you while I paint. You know, it's not as much fun to paint alone. It's way more fun to paint with a, with a, with friends. That's why I like to do the, um, the uh, mini painting dates at stores and such. And thank God we can start doing them again. <laughs> So I'm going to use bronze skin. I'm going to base coat all his skin. How are we at? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm on my spot. I actually marked my spot. I don't know if Michael's still around, but I did what I, I did. Took my own advice, and I marked my spot. <laughs> so I know where to put my hand uh, so you guys could see what I'm doing. And I had to run out today to buy Fun Tech too, to, to put it on... Uh, to put the mini on the holder because he's too small. Uh, the neat thing, I'll tell you what, there's not a lot of fun tech. I think command adhesives kind of killed the market for fun tech because I noticed there was so much of it and I was actually tempted to try and see if command adhesive would work and then you just pull it off and and get off cleanly and get the mini out, but I found some fun tech. So, by the way, if you have any questions or comments or anything about mini painting, you want to know what I'm doing, please ask. I keep a pretty good eye on the chat. If you want to ask me, this is almost like a, a stream long uh, ask me anything, too. Because I'll answer almost anything. <laughs> All right. And yes, if you notice, I actually did put the link up for the uh, for the mini. If anybody wants to buy him, he's really cool. Actually, I really love this guy. He epitomizes a pirate cook and a halfling to boot. Um, so he's like the perfect figure for my husband. Oh, and I just noticed now that I got my glasses on, he's got a knife and a fork instead of the crossbones behind the skull. That is just. That's why I like Reaper's Mini so much, the details. They put in all these awesome details. 
At some point, I am going to approach them about having them. Sorry, Michael Mortar. It means you'll have more competition. But I am going to approach them about have uh, actually them sponsoring this channel so I can sell stuff for them, I guess. But it's, they're my favorite company uh, out there. I do like, I mean, I don't just like their minis. I like a lot of other types. I like, um, I love Reapers, but I like, I actually do like Grant Games Workshop. Oh my God. Hey, hi, Kevin. How are you? Good to see ya. Who knew Twitch who dis? Uh, as I was saying, though, I also, I do like Games Workshop. I do have a bunch of orcs for an army. Uh, I do like, I like a lot of them. I mean, there's a lot of great many companies out there. Um, but the ones I have right now, I have, I have some whiz kids. Uh, even with the priming, weakness with the priming, I still like the figures. Uh, and because, I, of course, right now I'm painting the Rusty Dragon in, which is really fun, which actually DJ gave to me. <laughs> as a gift. So now he should be happy and finally working on it. I see, I see. So I gotta paint his feet because he is a hob no, oh, he's a hobbit. We'll go with a hobbit. He's a halfling. So his feet show. He's got hairy feet. Finding details while painting is just the best. Yeah, I agree. Oh my, how about those details? And you all know, especially since a lot of you here paint minis. Hi, Rod, how are you? I'm going to interrupt and say hi to everybody who pops on and says hi to me. Um, I'm so glad you made it. But anyways, as I was saying, you got to love those details that you look at it and you go, what in the heck is that blob? <laughs> you know, uh... What I find helps is uh, Google Foo is your friend, or Google Images. I find uh, if I, a lot of times I will actually try to pull up the mini I'm working on on Google, mostly to see, you know, what, when somebody else has done it, I can then figure out what that thing is. Maybe we should do that as a game on here. If I, this one's pretty clear um, uh, as what everything is. I don't have any really good what's that thing, but. Maybe at some point we need to play that game of what's that thing and let you all guess what, what, that, um, what that blob is supposed to be. Well, boo, fine, Theraval, I'll leave. I actually, I hope, I hope I see you on, remember, I also stream on Mondays and then maybe I'll eventually stream on Wednesdays. That's sort of the plan. Uh, so there should be plenty of times, and I'm going to vary my time so people in Europe can see me, like today, uh, because I know they're all in bed on weekday nights, and I'm going to do an early evening stream on Mondays that starts at 6, and then if I do, if and when I do Wednesdays, we'll have to see how this goes. I will do a, a later stream at 8.30, otherwise Don will kill me because that's when I record Dex Grid Heroes is from six to eight so i have to go after but that'll be fun uh, the best part the most fun thing of this too is it'll be fun to see who i get to raid after i've been looking forward to raiding other people's channels and wednesday i'm hoping it works out right that i'll end up raiding uh uh garris uh painting channel painting stream which i said is an absolute delight <laughs> go follow him it's 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 fun and He's very, oh, he's very good at uh, chatting with us while he paints. You know, I guess I always knew my big mouth would eventually pay off. Yeah, last stream was a lot of fun. I was so glad I dropped in for that. Um, uh, that was... Duh, duh, duh. Here, let me get this painted. He almost looks like he's got, like... Um, beat flip-flops on. I don't know if he's got a... Speaking of details, you know, it's funny. Metal is better for holding details. I don't think... I think all he has is the branch that goes across his... his, um... the foot. 
Yeah, it does help. That's actually the big thing of why I want people to come visit my stream is that I want somebody to interact with. Because it'd just be boring if I sit here and just, I mean, I can't sit here and just paint on stream and not say anything, but what fun is that? All right, let's see. So that's what I got so far. Let me switch this over. I hope that's focused in. I said I can't see crap because my glasses are crap. I think that's okay. Um, but that's what I got so far. And uh, I'm going to say hi to my hu my honey. My husband just walked down and to probably play with the laundry. And this is it. This is his figure. So at some point, maybe when he pops down and it's a little more done, I will actually call him over and say, hey, how do you like it? All right. But... He did send me a text with all the handy details on what he's uh, what, what he wants me to do. Fair compulsion, but a little tan from the work and see is like chestnut hair and green hair. Well, he's got light brown hair, as we talked about it. Um, I want to finish the skin, though. Let's see. But I'm working on, like, a darker, more tan tone, but I don't want it to be totally bronze. I usually, I'll start with, like, bronze skin as my shadow. And then I will start, then I'll just actually use Fair Shadow as my mid-tone and Fair Skin as my highlight. And that should give him a nice tan look to him. So let's see. I realize there's actually a spot I think I kind of missed around the eye patch. It's a little bit late on the color, so I want to go back in. Come on. Didn't get enough paint. Go back in and kind of... I suppose it could be the light, too. All right, let's see. I want to do, I want to start hitting the higher areas. So his nose. That cute little nose. And then I usually go all the way up. That looks good. I usually leave a little space around the nose where I don't, you know, where I don't actually paint over it. I actually go under the nose because I found that actually it looks weird if you just shadow it. And then I'm going to do a lot of the rest of the face. I think I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go do his hands. And then what I usually do with the hands, too, and you'll, I'll do it later, is I usually take my shadow, my real dark shadow color that I painted around the eyes, and I'll paint it in between the hands. And if I have to go back over it, I go back over it. They say the only difference between a good painter and a great painter, and I love this, is how much you mess around with the minis. Hey, Shiner! How's things? It's good to see ya. It's like, did, did, did Chris, Chris, Chris let you out of your cell to come visit me? Chenur is um, C, uh, CG Mini Paintings uh, moderator. And uh, Chris is a friend of mine. He's awesome. And so actually, you should go find them and follow them, too. They're awesome. Uh, Chris and Genevieve. Although, usually, when I get to listen to them, Genevieve is sadly at work because it's weekdays. I do like to listen to, I do work in, on a bunch of streams because it gives me something to listen to at work. Yeah, I think I'm going to want to touch that up. Oh, what was in it? What did you get from them? Something good? I hope.
It said, I get to know Chris when he was actually a fellow cast member on um, Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, for, our, for our first campaign. So I got to play with him there, and he's just he's just so much fun. I had, I had a great time with that group. Uh, sadly, now he's he's off doing other things and not playing on anymore. I wish he would come back and play. <gasps> oh, I'm like freaking jealous. I want to, you know, I've got to order. Uh, I want to order that turtle bard that he has uh, that he can 3D print. So that thing is awesome. Oh, and he showed it to me too to tempt me. But yeah, I do really, really, really want to paint that uh, mini at some point. Problem is, I have like 1,500 unpainted minis uh, upstairs in my in my room because of all the Reaper Kickstarters. So it's a space issue, and it's gonna be great when Kickstarter Five shows up soon enough. I know they just sent out a uh, update about I think that last container that's out uh, that was out and about yeah just add it to the of course I'm gonna add it to the pile of shame my problem is that I don't live in a huge house so my you know my pile of shame can't take over the whole entire house I realized I missed his other hand mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, that's cool. Turtles are a big thing in my household. Uh, DJ actually, uh, well, let's go see. We haven't played WoW in a bit. Well, he's played WoW more than I have lately. Um, but he, one of the first characters he had was a night elven tank, and we called him the Turtle King because with all that armor and everything, basically he was a turtle. Yeah, it's getting there. I saw a boat coming to and put together some space marines to do a test scheme on yellow. Oh, yeah, yeah, go back with yellows. We all know how wonderful yellows are to paint, which is probably really stupid that I've been painting some of my uh, daily paints with yellow. So yes, I do do a, I do do a, um, I try to paint a mini a day. Yes, yes, I have that paint and I will say it's pretty good. But um, if you put it on too heavy, it still ends up being more orange. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, I haven't really got too much of a chance to use it. Because I don't think I'm going to put it on this guy. He's going to have a blue and white. And maybe a bit of a sea green. We'll see if a sea green works. Blue and, you know, uh, like a purplish blue doesn't really always play nice with a greenish blue they kind of clash. Too close on the color wheel. Do, 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 do. There we go. <laughs> Great, now he's got two hands. I can do one with the airbrush and that'll be pink base. Wait, pink base in yellow ink. Oh, so wait, is it gonna be kind of orange? Then is that what you shoot for uh, with a pink base underneath it? We all know, uh, other than maybe that, uh, yeah, uh, was it I and in yellow, which actually it's it's a contrast paint, so it's it's translucent. But the but the one I'm thinking is Avalon Sunset, which is gold, um, but it actually covers, and it's one of the few yellows that does. And I really kind of is it, and it's one of my more favorites. Uh, to use, although I still like I said it's it's one of the Games Workshop paints I like. That's in their standard line. I like their tech. I like their washes and their technical paints. I'm not as crazy, and if you've used their paints, you know probably know exactly why. I'm not crazy crazy about their just their standard colors because they go bad really quickly. Maybe it depends on how my Zenithal highlight works and how warm my yellow... Yeah, I, you know what? I can't wait to see it. You mentioned pink. Pink is not really far from purple. And everybody knows I friggin' love purple. 
That's why when I painted the, uh, the, the uh, beholder for my contest piece, it was purple. That was the primary color. Because that is, that's right, they're whites, yeah. Yeah, they're whites and not, although I have one of the, I have, um, oh, no, here it is. What the hell do I have? I have Wraithbone White, which is, this one's not bad. Um, I've been using it, I like it, I like it for teeth and things, because it is a bone color. Uh, let's see. All right, back to the, back to doing some mid-tones. Oops, I'm creeping over here. Good thing I have my tape. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, you mean, yeah, you mean they kind of separate and get, yeah. Yeah, no, come to think of it, this one is too. That's why I don't like these colors that much because they do get chunky and it doesn't take long and it's really annoying. You know, I buy paint and within a month it's it's gone. It's just ugh, awful. And it's, so I've decided that that's why I'm like sort of trying to convert over a lot of my stuff to Reapers. As I mentioned, I do have a 40K Orc Army that at some point I will keep adding to and, and we'll paint up hard ha ha I've got so much else to paint um, but uh, yeah I mean I might use their paints for that because I'll go through them pretty fast to paint up an army I said if I ever have time to that's the big uh, that's the big thing is having time all right let's paint his to put some of this hide highlight on his twos Thank you. Oh, Supernova. What's that? Supernova JM. It's like Supernova Jam. I like the name. I love looking at people's Twitter Twitter names or Twitch names, whatever. Or both, actually. There's a lot of good Twitter names, too. Thank you so much for dropping by, and uh, thank you so much for the follow. So the sooner I can get the affiliate, the sooner I can open up all the fun things so we can have even more fun on the stream. And I'm so looking forward to that. I have plans for this stream. You have, oh, so Gareth has a space wolf army uh, himself. That's, I like the space wolves. They're like the, I believe they're the dwarven type. Right? They're the dwarven ones, right? Because I do believe I have a space, one of their uh, minis. They saw really liked and just painted it just because... So, what color is your Space Wolf Army? Yeah, that's right. Nor Norse inspired, but more for his Viking werewolf. Yeah, that's great. I like that description. Viking werewolf super soldiers. <laughs> that is probably the perfect description for them. I said, I know, wait, yeah, he's not a dwarf. I've got one that actually is holding, like, a raven, and I love that mini. I'll say this, I, I do really enjoy, um, I do like Games Workshop minis. They have ones that make me want to paint. Um, they also, oh, the other one I like, I like Dark Sword minis, too. Uh, although their stuff can be so delicate to put together. They got, like, you know, little tiny... They, you know, some of the points are like at the wrist and such where you put it together. It's like you can't, you can't like drill and put a pin in it. Thankfully, they're light enough, you know, that they, they don't tend to, um, they don't tend to break apart as much either. All right, let's see. Well, that's not the one. I want fair skin, not fair highlight. Okay. So I said, I'm going to actually highlight them with fair skin. I said, I'm trying to keep them a little darker. Let me go over him again with a, you know, glaze a little bit of the darker color back in to make him look a little more suntanned. Although, truth be told, he does spend a lot of time below deck cooking. Uh, I have the most well-fed crew. Oh, by the way, for the record, I, I play the captain of that ship. It's the Sea Stinger. And it said, and the game is 
It's the Skull and Shackles Adventure Path from Pathfinder One, and I uh, and I'm the captain, which is beyond strange to think I'm actually commanding commanding my fellow players. Although that's not really true. B basically, everything it's like every other game. It's all decided on consensus. Now I'm going to put some of the latest color, a little bit of highlight. It's going to be subtle, but then this the triad is rather subtle. The distance between colors is pretty close. I think actually that the Reaper, the just the flesh tone triad is, is really good. Um, because the, the colors are close together. So you don't have, you have less, you see less of the transitions. So I want to highlight his nose, the tip of his nose, the cheeks. Maybe leave a little bit. And the chin. Oop. Yeah. Oh, hey, Kevin, if you want to join in the fun, Kevin is Crimson, is that Commander? Com oh, I don't, I don't know what the KMR stands for. Crimson, though, I mean, because he's, he's painting a whole thing of um, Blood Ravens, and it's coming out real. I've done a couple minis for it, but the rest he's doing all himself, and it really looks good. Um, oh, duh. I didn't know your middle name, that's why. <laughs> All right, so, um, but anyways, just as an FYI, Therafall there, who was here earlier, he runs a community paint challenge where uh, it's Reaper's Spirit of the Forest this year. You know, if you want to, if you want to join us, I know you're on Twitter, and basically, I know you. A lot of times, I'll see you. You see your comments on um, on your good friend Sarah's post. Sarah, uh, uh, but anyway, but, and I don't see much coming out from you. I think you should put your minis up on, on Twitter. It's a good community out there. Uh, people are very nice, actually. And it's a good way to get your work out there. And your work is good enough. So don't, don't even think that your work's not good enough. Your work is good enough. You've come. It's been fun to watch your progression. And it's, you're doing so, I love your, I love your Blood Ravens. But I think you should join our little challenge. That would be fun, too. And paint something else other than Warhammer stuff. I'd love to see you do something else. All right, so highlighting is twos. I said, is Monica still lurking? Because <laughs> if you don't do it, she should do it. It seems like her type of mini. It's not a dragon, but it still seems like her type of mini. Well, yeah, that's true. You did paint... I don't remember. Was the Iron Defender the other one you painted? Because I know you painted the dragon, because I was there. Hey, Monica, you should join in that challenge. <laughs> I said it's basically a... It's a tree ant, but he doesn't have, like, branches with leaves in it. It's sort of like the stumps and when you cut off the branches. But he's alive, and he's got, like, all sorts of mushrooms and things on him. He's a really cool miniature. And you can do a lot of uh, fun things with it, too. So I think you should join in our challenge. Yes, you should. I will. I'll message you details if you want. I'll shoot them through. Uh, I'll shoot them through Facebook Messenger. I'll let you know which mini it is. Although I think it said I think it is called the Spirit of the Forest. So if you go to Reaper's site, you can just uh, you can see it there. All right. So I think that's his skin, more or less. Maybe I'll put a little bit of shadow, a lining in his toes. Although they're pretty well shaded. So I said, does anybody out in Twitchland have any questions or have any have any have any projects they're working on that they want to tell me about? Because I'd love to hear your projects. Um, 
actually, if you have anything on Twitter or uh, Instagram, you can actually post links from those. At least I tried. Okay, so if it fails, it means I did something wrong in the whitelisting. I wouldn't mind if somebody helped, uh, someone test it out for me. He needs purple tow bar. Of course, oh, uh, no, I don't, I don't tend to, I love purple. And this is at Sally Monica. This is for, this is actually for Joe. So uh, I got to be a little more straight with it. It said it's for our Skull and Shackles game. And he's it said, I love, I love him. He's a, he's a shaman actually. Um, so that's why we're going to go with a lot of blues and, and, uh, color and white, I think for this thing. All right, Gareth, lurk away. You know, I actually have an I lurk command. So if you want, you can always type it in and tell us all where you're lurking. Oh no. Oh no. It's, it's the smart goblin. Hey, a uh, smart goblin. He is another mini painter and a Pathfinder GM who loves bards. Bards are his favorite class ever. I'm working on, so this is from Chanur. I'm working on my minis for Jimmy and Princess's six month challenge. Oh, cool. I decided to paint all the Hero Quest minis. All the Hero Quest minis? Why? Why have I done that? I don't know. That's. <laughs> uh. Well, wait. Um. Ah, uh, so you tried to post a Twitter? Ah, uh, darn it. I'll have to see what's up because I did put in, like, Twitter's name. Hmm. It may be the fact that I'm now over 50 and technology is now beyond my grasp. It's something I really want to do. I want people to be able to post this stuff on here. So if you want to message me it, no bards allowed. <laughs> yeah, so he loves bards so much that at one of the, I think it was at, I don't remember if it was at TotalCon or what, but I remember you showed up, I think it was TotalCon, with a sign you made that said, no bards allowed. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm in Team Kevin there, C Team Crimson. I am a total bard for life. And if it means I show up at, at, uh, at the Goblins games, oh, down it, you missed the Goblin King, smart, smart. It should be smart because he's from New England like me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, he showed up and he actually brought me a sign that said, no bards allowed. I think it was is that I annoyed him at the game we were playing. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think it was, I, oh, I remember the game. I remember the game I played the bard in and that's after that he was like, no bards allowed. Uh, I think I cast... I think I charmed one of the enemies in the uh, in the in the scenario he was running, and I think he he was rather annoyed. I he, I pulled it off. Oftentimes I don't pull it off because usually they make the the, the GM's roles are better than mine. Yeah, who else has that problem, of the GM's roles being better than mine, or your own? Let's see. What else? Did he give me? Did he give me any? Uh, uh, did he give me anything about the pa denim blue pants? So my my husband, you know, I have a, I have a, quite a few clients, and a lot of them are like, just paint it blue and black, and give me some rather unspecific things. My husband is strangely specific on it. He gave me a hex number to paint the coat. <laughs> I'm like, honey, I only have so many. Co I can mix. And that is true. Also, when you're looking at when you're looking at colors on a screen, we all know they don't always they're not uh, consistent. So, let's see. What do I want to paint? Actually, I could paint his hair. Might as well keep working on the face. So his hair is a light brown. I'm actually going to go with. I also like P3 paints, although they don't have a lot of colors. So I'm going to go with this leather brown because it's actually a bootstrap leather, which is actually just a nice light brown. Yeah, oh, that's true. We did have like three bards at the table. Oh my god. Uh, by the way, speaking of uh, bards, Crimson, 
Um, at some point, we'll get to see your bard again. <laughs> uh, it may be probably July or August. Uh, yeah, late July or August when we get the gang back together for that Tuesday night game we're all doing that you started. And then the pandemic hit. And like two weeks at, or one or two sessions after you started with us, we had to shut down. Boo to the pandemic. Let's say we are starting to uh, actually have have games here again tomorrow. We will actually speaking of skull and shackles, and no, the mini will not be ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna paint what I can in two hours today, and oh my god, I only got like 45 minutes left. I'm gonna paint what I can in two hours today, but I'm gonna keep painting them on the stream. So, you know, you can always check back on Monday and next Saturday because it'll probably take me three streams to do it in at least. Do his little mutton chops here. So I will paint him entirely so that at least you can. Uh, so at least that you people can see how it turns out. Yeah, see, it's not one. No, I don't have links, but I'm actually, Lucas, did you try just you tried taking that from Twitter, right? Because I don't have links. I mean, I guess if it's like you guys, you know, because there's a lot of bots and things out there that will try to post weird stuff, and I really don't want that, so I banned most links. Maybe what I should have you guys do, if you want to do... Hey, new streamer, I'm trying to figure this crap out. Um, if you want, you can always probably DM them to me. You can message them to me, or, and I will repost them. I mean, hey, if I get big enough, maybe I'll start actually having moderators. <laughs> But right now, I'm moderating this myself. All right. But if you want, uh, if you want, I actually can, uh, I actually can find that that link to to repost for the tree thingy. But I'm pretty sure you can actually. I'm sure there is. I haven't found it yet, and I just want to get through today before I start figuring out more stuff. Because there is more I definitely want to do. Um, I want to, I said, I, I want to have things that the community can do. Um, and not just me. I do have plans that said, uh, I want to do custom emotes and stuff. Uh, and have some things for, if people want to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but uh, I basically want, you know, have custom emotes. I want to have, I have some, a couple of custom commands in here. I said I have lurk. I forget what else I put in there, <laughs> in the uh, the uh, the bot. Uh, you can always, you know, backslash and it'll tell you all the commands that are here. Um, I said I tried to whitelist Twitter and Instagram, but I'm thinking it didn't work, and I suspected it wasn't going to work uh, when I did it. I'm going to switch to my smaller brush for this. Let's see. This is the fun part. I can, well, maybe he doesn't really have hair on his feet. Maybe what I'm seeing is just the leather, his uh, sandals. Uh, there should be a way to just message me. Or, or whisper me. Let me say, let me say hello in chat. I think you can, some, there must be a way you can DM you can DM me on this, uh, on, uh, what the hell is this? Twitch. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Oh, you know what? Click on my name. That's true. You can click on my name. Also, at the top, I noticed there's users in chat. So I'll be, I'm on that list, obviously, as I'm the broadcaster. Um, you can always go in there and you click on the name and it says whisper. So you can always whisper, you can try whispering me that and I should get a ping that says, hey, somebody sent me a message. All right, so he doesn't seem to really have a uh, hair on his feet. <laughs> Poor 
poor Lucas is sorry, poor smart goblin is trying desperately to to uh, get that to work. I am sad. I will figure it out. I'll go on. I will use Google Phone and figure it out. Let's see. All right. So I want a lighter color to sort of, let's see, I got to highlight that. I may actually use the, the bronze. I find this bronze skin color actually works as a nice highlight for brown. Isn't that tree thingy cool? Uh, so yeah, that's just said. I, I still need order one and this, and I'm thinking getting the metal version, which is, it's a lot more money though. The metal version's like almost, I think it's almost third. It's either 25 or 30 bucks or 20, somewhere in that range. And, uh, I'm thinking about getting it. The other thing with Reaper, if you spend like 40 bucks, you get your shipping for free. So, at least in America. I don't know about other places. Probably not. Yeah, the plastic's fine. And, and, there's, and you know, it's a bigger mini. So, actually, that's why I'm tempted to go with the plastic. It's just that if I want to paint that up as a competition piece, um, I, you know, I want something that's, I, I want the metal. Because it has, it shows you the details a lot better. I think in metal. The bones is not bad, and the bones black has improved so much over the original bones. Oh, and by the way, just, just in case people were wondering, which you probably weren't, I am on team I do not prime bones. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have to go a little lighter because for some reason that's not showing up real well. I say that as I look at this, and the and it's not as incised on these mutton chops as it is on the other side. Also, I think I'm going to even just highlight it with the flesh tone, because that sort of works too. A lot of colors are influenced by what you have underneath it. It actually will change the way you view it, and colors that are next to it. I'll put on my art teacher hat right now. No, uh, Reaper bones. Okay, so Reaper bones are actually made for the paint to stick right to the mini. That was like one of the selling points of the whole entire thing. Um, so no, but I will tell you this. Reaper bones also are hydrophobic. So if you like to thin your paints a lot and, you know, and paint on it with, with a high water content, it will just kind of beat up and off. Now you can get it to work. I actually have used contrast. I actually use contrast paints directly on it, on Reaper bones on occasion. It does come out. Yeah, washing washing them well helps. I should actually have pointed that out. Um, I'm really super lazy. I usually just put on a thicker coat of paint. Um, the Reaper, the Reaper paints are pretty good straight out of the bottle. They they got decent flow. What do you want? A mini painter made these paints. So she put in everything a mini painter could want. So, um, yeah. So, needless to say, I actually find I can use it straight out of the Reaper. As for the other ones, you may have to thin them a hair um, and find, you just find that happy point of where, uh, you know, where, where it's too thin shakes head. What are you shaking your head at me for, smart? Because I don't, because I'm lazy. I just, I just like to pull them out of packages and get paint on them. Now, to prove that I do prime stuff, this one obviously is primed. You have to prime metal. You, there's no choice. I mean, if you don't, the paint will rub off. I mean, even if you prime it, the paint still can rub off. Yeah, I know. I know. I guess it's just I really like to paint. So I have a lot of enthusiasm for painting. I see there's been a couple more people who have snuck on here too. So hello, new people. It's nice to see you. Um, 
Yes, Rod, you're absolutely right. Uh, I like WizKids figures. They the sculpts are nice and and they do take paint well, but yeah, they for some reason they probably for the sake of time they don't scrape off the mold lines. Uh, and some things, if I'm unless I'm doing a competition piece, I don't care as much. <laughs> It'll still look good. Um, but uh, yeah, I totally get that. And there's a lot of people who actually strip off the WizKids primer. And, you know, or they'll take off the mold lines and they'll just prime back over it. I I've, I've think on some, were some particularly annoying things. Aha, there is a whisper. Hey, all right, Chanur, get it to work. <laughs> Hi, Chanur. Yeah, that, I mean, and that works, and that probably is not all that time-consuming to do. I mean, it, it takes like two seconds, you know, if you're just putting a... If you're just putting a uh, coat of paint over it. So or a little coat of primer when you're using your brush. It takes you probably longer to scrape the, the friggin' mold line off than it does to do that. All right. That's looking pretty good. I don't think I'm going to... Now, normally I would definitely do the hair, but it's so in that crack. I don't think I'm going to highlight it. It's going to be really dark in there and you really can't see... Dang. Yeah, you really can't see it much. I think I'm just going to leave it alone. So I mentioned I was going to do a little glazing here. I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm going to reglaze. I'm going to take a little bit of the, the that bootstrap leather and I'm going to add a lot of water to it because I want to add, I want to, I think my highlights are a little light and plus they're a little bit close to the flesh tone since I use the flesh tone. And I'm just going to kind of go over this. I got a big blob of water on my brush. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> you can, here's why you came on the stream and you can learn all my bad habits. Every single one. The weird thing is, though, I find it that this is the way, this is the way it works for me. Um, if you find it works for you, feel free to steal any techniques I do here and use them. If it doesn't work for you, then don't use them. <laughs> Mini painting, there's like, let's say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> this is the way, but it's not the only way. You need to find your way. That's one of the big things I, I tend to promote is feel free to take any, you know, take anything I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, then don't do it. So I think Yento needs, uh, he needs some lips, or a lip. I tend to, when I paint him, I tend to do the bottom lip because that's the part that really shows. Yeah, a thousand painters, a thousand ways. Actually, Chanur, my, one of the things I like to say lately is this. You can ask a hundred different painters how to do one technique, and you're not going to get 100 different, well, you're not going to get um, one answer. You're going to get... You're probably not going to get a hundred answers, but you're going to get a multitude of answers. Because this is like, and if it works for you, there's no wrong way of doing it. Feel free to cheat as much as you want. <laughs> if it gets the job done, good. Don't let anyone tell you you're cheating. So I'm going to take a little bit of this gory red. I'm not sure if gory red is the one that no longer exists. Uh, one of these blood reds doesn't exist on Reaper anymore, but... I am going to use that until I run out of it. So I'll take that and I actually mix some of my, mm, I'll do my mid-tone of my flesh tone. So the, the, the shadow, actually I should do this the proper way. I know I don't have the camera on my palette. I'm going to take, uh, but I should use the crappy brush for mixing that I have. I'm going to take a little bit of that mid-tone flesh uh, tone the flat, uh, dark, sh uh, no, what's it called? Fair shadow. And I'm going to mix a little bit of that in because I want kind of a pink. Maybe a little too pink. I like my lips to look subtle. I even like do making them a bit brown on the brown tone. But that's just what I prefer. You know, as I said, do it your way. <laughs> this is just one way. All right, I need some more paint, actually. Fair shadow. So 
So I hope some, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, we do not cheat. We use neck to, yeah, actually that's exactly it. But people, there are people out there who will say you're cheating. Screw them. You're not cheating. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely 100% right. And yeah, the only way to cheat is saying you painted something while somebody else did it. A friggin' men. And don't ever do that. Don't ever pass off someone else's work as your own. That's not cool. You know, I worry, I said, not only am I an artist myself, I do work with a lot of artists because I am uh, the head of a uh, vendor room for an anime con. Maybe I want it a little darker. Here, I'm like being, I'm, I'm being so fussy about this. I want it a little darker. All right. By the way, everyone thinks eyes is tough, and I, eyes are tough, and they are, but lips also scare me. It looks like. There we go. He's got a little bit of a pink lip. But yeah, yeah, as I said, I work with artists, so I am not cool with people, ch uh, you know, stealing work. And yet, you know, in some cases it happens, especially for 2D artists, it happens all the time. <laughs> so, so Crimson states, that's why every Marine I have has a helmet option, uh, that has a helmet option is wearing the helmet. See, that is probably the best way to get around eyes. Find minis that don't have them. Um, I mentioned one, at the, I should do the way I do it uh, earlier on this stream. And if you missed it, well, I'm going to put this up in YouTube and it'll be on my Twitch channel for a couple weeks. So you can go back and look. Um, but there's like, a, but that, there's one, you can avoid the whole thing by just using helmets or minis that don't have eyes or closed eyes. You can paint a mini that the eyes are closed. You just have to, you know, put a shadow in, in the spot where it's closed. And I actually have, to, I have one mini. In fact, it's the one I use for my channel icon. Her eyes are closed. Um, but as for open eyes, the technique I use is the Betty Davis eyes. Uh, it's the one right from the Betty Davis eyes article, except I don't draw a line. I just put a dot. But that's because the guy who wrote the article, um, Darren Clavis, he's the one that actually taught me how to do a lot of what I do. So, and he was an unbelievable painter in the day. Uh, I miss him. Uh, but yeah, he was incredible. He's a Golden Demon Award winner and such. So I had a really good teacher, needless to say. Um, but there's an, uh, the other way to do eyes that I think works just as well is you can actually paint the whole socket black and then you put white you, instead of, it's like the reverse. Then you paint white on the corners, you know, and leave the pupil and just leave the pupil out there. And it works, it works for tabletop. It's, it's, it's absolutely perfect for tabletop quality uh, stuff. I wanna figure out, I need, to, I would like to step mine up a notch. I'm at that point where I really, I'm going to go to Reapercon and one of the things in my cart right now is some of the uh, eye, one of the faces in eye classes. Uh, can't wait till I actually can buy it. <laughs> A little anxious here. All right, that's his face. Oh, he's got an eye patch. Hmm, don't want to make it a blue eye patch. It's going to be so much blue on him already. Actually, I will ask my husband that later. I think I will leave it alone. So, let's see. I'm going to do... He's got a sash. He's got a little tie around his neck. I don't even see, like... He's got a shirt under there somewhere. Did he give me a short shirt color? <laughs> I was gonna say that uh, thank you guys so much for chatting. That would be such that would been so bummer if I didn't uh, didn't have anyone on here talking. I'm so thrilled. You guys have totally made this the best launch ever. Let's see. An off white shirt. Well, I think I made hmm, I think I'm gonna take 
off white. So, so off white or white, you want to take another color to make for your highlight. That's not white or off white. Um, so basically, you can either go warm with a um, with like a light tan, or you can go gray, or you, you can go cooler with I would think a gray. Gray is kind of neutral, but I also think that works in with you could go blue. I, if you want to do a frosty, icy thing, blue would, uh, like a light blue for your starting color would be really good. I don't think I want to go blue, and I don't think, mm, on this guy, do I want to, he's going to have a lot of blue in him, so maybe I do want to go a bit on the warmer side. For the There's not much shirt in this. <laughs> it really isn't. He's got a sash that seems to creep way up to like this point right here. I mean, oh, maybe that all thing is a shirt. Maybe that's not a sash. I do like your Ice Dragon, too. That came out so good. So, yeah. Um, what is it? Bunny Lovins, which I think is such a great name, too. Uh, she. That's Last um, Sunday, I ran an in-store painting event where people could come out and paint. And both Bunny Lovins and Crimson uh, both came, and they painted dragons and... I forget what else you painted. You paint as I know you painted each painted something else too. But yeah, I loved a dragon. I had some neat. Uh, I use a lot of craft paints for for those events because a lot of them are try before you buy. I want I want to introduce people to the hobby, so they can you know check it out before they. Um, before it said they can check it out before they drop money for to, to buy minis and a bunch of paints and we know that the gaming paints are not cheap uh so blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's that time of the afternoon where i am starting to we'll see we'll see how well i do with an afternoon stream this will be fun um but my brain is starting to shut down. I think also it's kind of warm in this room. But anyways, yeah, you that ice dragon was really cool. So I had some paint that was a frosted, uh, like a pearlescent paint, and it's purple. And it was, yeah, that's right. You painted a dragon and a space marine, and Kevin, or Crimson, painted a tactical, let's see, you that's right. She did a tactical marine, and he did an iron defender, and they both did dragons, in a couple hours, and they were. I said the dragons both were finished, and they came out so good. All right, so I'm gonna do the shirt. I said I think I'm gonna go more warm. So I don't know what I've got here for browns here. Have I got a light brown? I might actually take and mix in some of my. The shirt color. I'm gonna use this Wraithbone white, even if it's not in the best shape. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Shield Brown to it because it's a nice light brown. In fact, I'm probably gonna paint the base of this guy Shield Brown because it's also good wood color. Well, that's yeah. Remember, I said the the difference between a good painter and a great painter is how much you you touch up that mini. So, yeah, it's, it's fine if it needs work. So what? Just do some work on it. Get to where you'll be happy with it. Believe me, my stuff, all, my, I have to go back a lot of times and touch stuff up. <laughs> Especially when you're painting something in a recessed area, you're going to almost always, unless you're really precise and using a brush with a ridiculously good tip, uh, you're going to likely catch something you're going to catch one of those raised areas. Don't ever worry about it. You can just touch it back up. So I said, this is like a little bit of shield brown added to wraith bone uh, to make a slightly warmer, darker brown. Well, it's not darker. It's a light brown. Yeah, that looks good. And I think the whole thing is a shirt. I thought it was a sash, but it's not. That to me is too big a sash. So I'm going to make it his shirt.
Yeah, no, uh, you know what, touching up and, you know, I, unless you're like James Wapple, who is just ridiculous, I don't think, as I said, I've discussed that, I don't think he's human, I think he is, he's from somewhere out of this world because he is so good at what he does. Um, but uh, pretty much anybody who's human has to touch up their mini. All right, so there's that. So I painted the shirt. Now I'm going to want to start. I like to layer up. So I've been working with air dry clay for basing. Yeah, I, you know what? I have, I bought some air dry, like, if believe it or not, it's like Crayola Kids clay years ago because I had a project that I painted all the minis for and I just need to build a base for it. Still haven't done it. And I think the paint is starting to, sorry, the clay is starting to dry out. But yeah, I think air dry air dry uh, clay is such a great option for basing because I mean there's green stuff but green stuff you know that'd be hugely expensive to do to take green stuff and build bases out of like big bases out of that where you need a lot of clay or where you need, where you need a lot of it um, so I yeah I would prefer to use some sort of clay and actually, come to think of it, Rod, did you use, is that what you used underneath that tank, which is friggin' awesome? He just painted a really cool tank, and he put a really great base underneath it. I think it even had, like, he put the tire treads. Yeah, 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 yeah. That came out so good. All right, so I'm going to put a bit of a lighter color on these higher spots. A lot of times I'm doing stuff quickly, like for all those quick paints I've been doing. So it's a, I've been doing a yeah, mini a day challenge, and I've been posting the results mostly. Some on the uh, Michael Mortar Discord channel, but I've been posting them all up on um, on a daily basis up on my Twitter account. Uh, so if you want to see them, there. This is not a quick paint. This one is going to be a much slower paint because those only I'm trying to do them in one to two hours. So in those, on the quick paints, I would probably just take, and I may still do it. I've actually taken, I'll probably, I would wash that area because it's got so many, like, wrinkles that the paint will stick pretty well. Uh, the, 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 wa I'm sorry, the wash will stick in the cracks really well there. Um, but, oh, somebody did something. Hey, hello, Chris. Yeah, I was going to say, you're host of the stream. Are you by yourself? <laughs> but thank you so much. It's so good to see you guys. Oh, and Jenny's here too. Thank you so much, guys. It's good to see you. Uh, let's see. And thank you for following, Chris. So now I need only, what am I up to? I'm up to 43. The thing hasn't caught up yet. I'm up to 43 followers, so, you know, I'm only five away from 43, sorry, seven away, I can't, I can add, sure, uh, from um, having enough to be an affiliate. That's just, a lot of it's on me, then I just have to stream. That's all right, Genevieve there had you covered. She, I believe, was already following. Wait, it's 49? This, my thing is not caught up. It still says 42. Oh, I'm one away. I thought that was wrong. 42 is what I had when I started the stream. And, and uh, Bunny Lovin and... Oh, crap. Who was the other one? Someone else followed me. But thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. I really said I want to get to affiliates. I can do all sorts of... I want to do more cool things for all of you guys out there. So, anyways, yeah, I'm basically putting a little highlight things on here. I don't know if it's... I'm trying to just leave the crack, you know, the cracks alone. I'm going to go one step further, too. And if I deem that this highlighting is not enough, then I may go and actually put a little bit of a brown wash in there, in the cracks, so that it really stands out. Okay, so I want to announce to the fine people over here. Um, 
Mini Mommy, hello! Oh my god, it's so awesome to see all you. Um, so I want to make an announcement too. I do plan, when I hit affiliate, I want to do a giveaway on the stream. I have the mini, and I may have to sub it in. I'm going to finish painting this first, and it may so it'll take me two or three episodes to do it. But after that, because holy crap, this is going really fast, I may have to paint that mini. And I want to give it away. I want to, I'm going to paint uh, something that, when I think of the word muse, I'm going to paint this figure. Uh, I've actually already painted it as a character of mine. Um, I don't have it here, so I can't really show you. And I don't remember what the name is. But she's lovely. She's, she is one of the Reaper ones, because, of course, I love Reaper. And she has, she basically is standing in a pose like this. She's wearing a dress. And she's got gloves on, I think. Um, and I'm going to do her with a purple dress and such because purple is my jam. And let's see. And congratulate. Oh my gosh. So Jenny, you got you got your first COVID shot. How good did that feel, by the way, to get that one to get that done? Because I'm not gonna lie to you all. I went to my car and I cried when I got my first shot because I knew what it meant back to you know I was I've missed conventions I've missed um, running painting events at stores and things I've missed it also much. I've missed in-person gaming I've missed seeing my family I've missed seeing my friends in barbecues and things like that and what that meant was it's it's a it's a sign of return to all that so it's not the, f I'm not going to scare you off. I don't want to scare you off. The second one is the tougher one. Which, uh, which house are you in, by the way, Jenny? Which, are you, were you in, I don't know what you have in Canada that's approved. If it's the same ones that is down here in America. I am house Moderna, which I'm very proud of because Moderna was developed up the street, basically. Uh, it's from, Mass I'm from Massachusetts and it was made in Massachusetts. Oh, she is? You don't know which one she got, do you? How about you, Chris? Do you have any of them done yet? Because I know you really want to do some... Oh, I know you've been talking about you can't wait to getting back to um, doing some in-person stuff, too. I do. I'm, I missed it all so much. And as I said, when I got the first shot, I said, and I had that appointment for the second one, I went to my car and I cried because I was so happy. And it has been just such a joy getting it done. Hey, Brandon. By the way, I think your, was your birthday this week? I think I remember seeing it come across my Facebook. She got Pfizer. My husband got Pfizer too. Um, and it wasn't too bad. He, he, I got hit harder than, than he did. So, you know, so she, and she's in, she's in great health. She'll be fine. And, but you know what? All of a sudden done, it's so worth it. And by the way, yes, everyone wish Mr. Brandon there a happy birthday because his birthday was this week. So happy birthday. And, uh, I'm always, well, you know, if I pick up on one of you guys, if I follow you, whatever, and I know it's your birthday, I'll try to remember to say it on stream. <laughs> so happy birthday. And I miss you, Brandon. I really, oh, hey, you're not going to go to Gen Con this year, are you? Mr. Brandon? Because, because DJ and I are going to go to Gen Con. Even though, like, there's no Paizo there, no Pathfinder Society, which is my jam. But there'll be plenty of other things to do. And I just saw the vendor list, and there'll be plenty of other places to shop and places that I enjoy. I think I am going to wash this. So, yeah, so tell me, are you going to Gen Con? No! <laughs> That's okay. Doing it online is perfectly acceptable. They have, I think they capped their, yeah, they capped it at ha a half attendance anyways, at, at 30 thou instead of 60. You know, a lot of people are digging it. They like the smaller, they like the fact there's less people there. I like the fact that I we had no trouble getting a hotel in downtown Indy. 
Because it's such a, it's awful to try to go to a hotel in downtown India in a normal year. Next year, I don't, see, I don't know. I'm also doing ReaperCon, too. Originally, I wasn't going to do Gen Con, but DJ said, I really, he had a ticket, and he rolled it over to this year, and he was like, I really don't want to go by myself. And that is totally understandable. Um, it's kind of the, it, it, it's, I did it, and it's just, it's not as much fun if, well, actually, no, I did have a roommate that year, but, um, but yeah, I've, I've done cons by myself, and it's not nearly as fun without friends there, so. I think I'll have a good time, too. But, yeah, so I'm a bit... Actually, it's great. I now have a roommate for Reapercon, too, which is one of our goblins. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> I had this nice suite with two queen-size beds and uh, no roommates. And I'm like, bummer. Oh, you are. You're doing the Palladium Open House? I know. I said, yeah, I don't, I don't know if DJ will go back to that, but you always... He, I think he mentioned some year he might like to want to go. You can always bug him and see if he wants to go next year. He was lurking on this channel, so I don't know. He, he did just pop downstairs. All right, so I did wash this with a little bit of the brown. and I, You notice I tried to actually keep it in the cracks. I know a lot of times when people are, hey, go ahead, bug him. No kidding, right? You, you know why this wash pot, you know why this pot is almost empty? Because I dumped it over at least twice. Because <laughs> I'm a klutz. Uh, I know, I should get one of those 3D printed things from one of, those, from one of my friends out there. Uh, I should get one of those to put it in when I'm working on here. It's so easy to tip them over and I think they do it on purpose. I really do. Conspiracy. Well, I'm hoping, one of the things I'm hoping with the stream and such too, is that I actually do get in, get into doing some 3D printed stuff. Um, I do not have a 3D printer yet. As I mentioned, we have, I have our, our, our bestie who lives up in the, in the room and well, I may be getting that room soon enough. Uh, if all goes well, he'll be moving out, and I'll be moving this whole studio upstairs and creating a whole mini painting studio for myself. And when I can do that, I'll have windows where I can put an exhaust out, and, I, uh, and I'll be able to do a 3D, have a 3D printer. I would love to have one. Um, I'm a, I am a fan of, uh, which one? There's so many heroes and dwarves and forges and stuff. Hero Forge. I'm a big fan of Hero Forge minis. Where does he go? Oh, not far. He's just go, he's going up north about a half hour. So we're going. So he's not going too far. Yes, he can still come and play with you at once in a while. Um. But yeah, but but yeah. Uh. So that's. Oh, I don't need to put more of that out. I already have that color up. So yeah, he's um. I'm going to take his room, hopefully, and I'm going to set, build a really cool studio where I can put my shelf of shame in there, and I can put the pirate ship, and I can put, uh, I could put a lot of my painted stuff, <laughs> the shelf of shame. My shelf of shame is a shelf, a drawer, uh, it's my work drawer, um, and it's behind my bed, <laughs> some of my boxes. Uh, so I said, my focus on this stream is I want to do lots of heroes and PCs that you would find on your gaming tables that are actually from games I play. Hence why, you know, I was like, the Painted Hero Tavern seems to make sense as a name. Because I'm painting heroes, but also monsters and hopefully terrain and things like that. But I want to be that focus of, of stuff that you would put on your table for, uh, for your D&D games. Or Pathfinder games. So, but I'm also including like ones I've watched. I'm also, you know, like streams I've watched. So I have the entire set of Critical Role minis from the, I bought the Kickstarter ones and then they released all the ones that, um, all the special ones that released one per con. So I have all those too. 
Yeah, there are other games and stuff too. I could do. I have. I have. Um, I just picked up uh, Munchkin Dungeon. And any of you who actually know me in person, and there's a few of you actually on this chat who do, and know my husband, you all know that he loves Munchkin. That is, he has. He doesn't have everything. He has almost everything from uh, that's Munchkin, including the new Critical Role. But with the game, it just so Munchkin Dungeon obviously combines Munchkin with minis. So a lot of that awesome John Kavalik artwork got transformed into minis. You should you should look into getting that set then. I'm sure I'm sure Crimson will get it for you, Bunny. <laughs> so I bought uh, I didn't do the Kickstarter because I think at the time the 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 um, Song of Ice and Fire Kickstarter was also going on. And I really couldn't afford two Kickstarters of minis that were going to be over or well over 100 bucks each. So I didn't pick it up then. And I sort of regretted not doing it because I really love, you know, I really love the Munchkins, uh, that, that artwork. So I just picked it up. I just realized we could buy it now. And I just picked up the, um, I picked up the main set and the Cthulhu expansion. I'm trying to think if I picked up, I think it was just the Cthulhu expansion. Of course, the other thing, if anybody who here knows my husband, they also know Cthulhu is his favorite, you know, that's his favorite thing to run. So I'm sorry, I'm sitting here just trying to figure out what, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing now. I'm like, what am I doing next? I love chatting with you guys. As I said, this is the one time my big mouth will uh, be a be a good thing. I'm gonna highlight these with that with uh, linen, the bleached linen. Some of these are very small areas. And it looks like he has a bit of. It's funny, it looks like he's got a little bit of a ruffle there too at his neck. All right. I was gonna say, my husband loves Munchkin. And he loves running, he loves running the card game so much. Uh, he, he does two things at conventions. He'll run Cthulhu, he'll run a lot of Cthulhu games. Occasionally he, he'll delve into other systems, but he loves Call of Cthulhu. And then he also runs, he'll run Munchkin. Where he'll, and his great, one of the things he has the most fun with is he'll take, he loves to mix the decks. Um, so, you know, he'll create all sorts of awesome variations. I mean, I'm trying to remember what he had. He, I think he had Cthulhu and Apocalypse together. We also run it. We also have a Christmas party here, although sadly not last year, but we have a Christmas party that we run at this house and he runs a Munchkin tournament where anybody who wants to, so you'll have a table like 13, four people, 14 people around it playing Munchkin. He does have come have, he does come up with um, other winning conditions so that uh, they're not playing forever. <laughs> this mini is confused. This mini is still a little confusing. I'm it's like his feet are bare, but it almost looks like he's got cuffs and it comes down. So it almost looks like the cuffs of a boot. But yet he doesn't have boots. But he does have pants, but they disappear. So I'm wondering if that that might be two different things. Hmm. I will have to think about that later. Uh, I can ask him on that, too, at some point, because I'm probably not going to get to that today. In fact, I can just skip that and not get to that today. I think I'm going to do the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do his um, I'm going to do his sandals. So yeah, if you ever I, I said I do commissions for people, so I'm used to you know working with people to find out everything I need to know about their minis. And oftentimes I, I don't find out everything you need to know about a mini about what they want in the first pass. I've had people who basically say, paint it however you want it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not how this works. It's for a specific character. You need to give me some, at least give me hair. And, and Well, I don't do eye colors because it's just too small on a 28 millimeter mini. You can, and I have, but it just, you, but it doesn't show up. The color doesn't show up. I noticed very well. 
so I tend to just do the black dots now. But I ask them for like, you know, skin tone, hair color, and at least, or, and if you don't want to give me, if you, you're really stuck on colors to paint his clothes, I go, what's your favorite color? And that's how I do it. So I'm going to use for the, I think for the sandals, his flip-flops. Well, it would be funny to do something like electric pink or purple. I have pink flip-flops upstairs, actually. Uh, I'm going to go with ready leather. So... Alright, so the other side is a little harder to see because I painted over it because it's a lot harder to see where that line is. I want to say I might be doing a little bit of freehanding here. I'm going to do it here. So I think that looks like it. So that's going to be a lot tougher because there is a uh, shadow cast by the coat. So it makes it a lot harder to see. You know what? You can just paint. If worse comes to worse, you can just paint. You can kind of freehand stuff. No. All right. I hate this. It's really hard to see it. I'm going to go there to there. I think it comes back here a little bit. I'm going to get this, the sole of the shoe in a minute. Yeah, I said it said it's funny. I'm not as in I'm not that I'm not into games other than the role playing games as much and a couple of video games. Um, I love playing tabletop role play games, especially uh, Pathfinder and D and D, and Starfinder, of course. Uh, we it's gonna say I I have a good time. I play God. I play. I was gonna, I'm curious now who here plays is playing more now than they ever have in their entire life even though we're still we're just starting to not be socially distanced anymore and we can play in person because I can tell you I picked up so many games during this pandemic it's not even funny less well you do lose our Tuesday game and we already said that will come back at some point um, so you will be getting that one again. But I, I definitely do a lot more. I used to only play about one or twice, once or twice a week at the most. And now I'm playing, it depends on the week because some of my games are bi-weekly. But it's like, I think it's up to five. I, I meant like five games. And that doesn't include one shots that I do on occasion too. Um, let's see, path. I've got a couple Pathfinder. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm doing on Saturdays, although not this Saturday because uh, we're we're actually watching the whole um, elite. What is the uh, shoot? I don't remember what it's called. It's the like the Elysium Court or something like that for. For Vampire the Masquerade, they're actually so they're having like their mini convention type thing where they make announcements and and such. No, Brandon, I really miss playing with you. I really enjoyed it when you came here. I forget the name of the character. When you started, I believe you started Rise of the Rune Lords with us, and then that game kind of went complete. Well, we did finish it. We did play it later with a different GM. He's out. Uh, he's out of the hospital though now, right, Kevin? Maybe I'll remember to actually use your tag. He's out now though, isn't he? Yeah, that's true. Timothy Tall. That's what he was. I love that character. We still have the uh, artwork that we had done hanging up in here. Yeah, I know. Some people don't like it when you say your their real name. 
out in the world, so I want to be respectful of that. I'm like you. I don't care. People can know of me as, you can call me Muse and such, or you can call me Carol. That's fine. Doesn't bother me a bit. Um, but I mean, I'm out there in the world anyways. Yeah, as long as I don't call you, don't call you late to dinner. Yeah, the artwork, that, yeah, that, that picture that, um, I think DJ had that commissioned. Uh, yeah, that came out really good. Uh, then again, Don is such a fantastic, Don Higgins uh, is a fantastic illustrator. Um, who, hang on a sec, uh, while I paint this, I'm painting his other sandal bit. <laughs> But yeah, Don Higgins is a really good illustrator. He actually does a lot of things now for the gaming industry. Uh, and he works, his main gig is, he works for FASA Games. But he does, he was doing, I don't know, he might be too busy for personal, like for, for you know, commissions like this, but I'm not sure. Don't count, don't count me on that. Oh, okay, I'm going to be, I'm only going to, just so you know, Brandon, I'm only going to be on until about 2.30. And then I'm going to raid somebody, so I can't wait. Um, but yeah, so Rod said, I have played D&D &D since the early 80s. Quit playing after high school, but recently got back into it with my kids. The reason they got back into mini paying. Oh, I love it. Your kids dragged you into it? That's so cool. Um, hey, anybody who can drag people into this hobby, I'm, I'm happy. I want to see more people in this hobby. Uh, that's my been my goal forever. That's why I do conventions and, and store things is I want to introduce people to it. And I want, you know, said people not to feel they have to spend a lot of money to try it out. See ya, Brandon. It was good to see you on the stream, though. Holy crap, I'm up to 20. There's 20 of you on here? Or maybe 19 because I'm one of them. I said, don't be shy. Say hello. I would love to talk to you. Give me a reason to, to chat. Uh, I really do much better when I can play off a crowd. But as I was saying, yeah, so I played D&D &D since uh, the, er, the late 80s. It was still second ed, and I got into it. I knew I wanted to get into it. Uh, I wanted to get into what it was like in high school and Maybe even younger than that, because there was a group at my high school, at my school, that did play in the and they played in the library, um, and I came across them every so often. Not sure if I'm happy about that. Uh, and I would and I knew what they were doing, like I saw the pretty dice and I saw the, the DM screen and it, it didn't even have to tell me. I just knew it. This is what Dungeons and Dragons is. And I was going, I really kind of want to do it. But I didn't know them well enough. And I was, I mean, I know it was a small class, but I didn't really talk to them that much. And I was shy. So I never asked. But my brother figured out that I wanted to do it. And he introduced me to my first game. Uh, that's when I'm not sure exactly when. Sometime either. I think I was like a senior in high school. So I got my taste of it there. And then when I was in college, I did join a group. Funny thing is that group started out as like I think there were three players and a GM, and eventually it went to the other two guys had to had had to bail for various reasons, you know, reality, boo to reality, and uh, I ended up being me and the GM running a solo game, and it was the most fun I have like ever had. It was so cool. All right, let me look at my paints here. I've got a bunch of paints in, down here with me. Um, let's see if I got anything good that looks like denim. I've got more paints upstairs too, which is great. <laughs> you can't have too many paints as a painter, that's for sure. Storm Chaser Blue. I don't know if that, no, that might not be the right color though. Pardon me while I look through my paints here. I'm looking for something. Yeah actually be good. I should use some of these awesome colors. Uh, I have, you know, these. Because, <laughs> of course I do. Uh, 
I, I had some, I just remember I had a ton of fun the first time I was introduced to the game. That's good. I, everything I get is upside down. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember it was just so much fun and I couldn't wait to play again. And then when I got the opportunity to, to join a campaign and when I was in college, I just jumped at it. And it was so much fun. Wait, wait. Oh, I do have it. So, everybody knows these balls. So I'm going to, yeah, Storm Chaser Blue. I'm going to try this. It's kind of dent den me. <laughs> or at least a good face color. Look, I got the Pokey Tool. Pokey Tool. Ugh. Oh, that is really clogged. <laughs> Get out of there. Yeah, I mean, and I've been, I've been more or less, thank you, Paul GM, thank you for the pokey tool call out. You know, that might be something I need to make an emote of, <laughs> the pokey tool, um, at some point. But yeah, I was, it's just, yeah, I was hooked when I, when I started playing that campaign, I was absolutely hooked on D&D &D. and I was for years. And then once I sort of had a bit of lost love for it. I don't know why I got burned out in gaming or it might have even been just uh, circumstances were kind of tough at that point in my life. But, uh, oh, it's a DJ. DJ walked downstairs. Hi, DJ. Hello. And by the way, thank you for, thank you for following. <laughs> Yes, I am. Yep, everyone know everyone see everyone's hearing me talk to you. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, um, I guess I don't see the back of them. So yeah, I was absolutely hooked, and said so there was one time in my life where I had a particularly kind of a rough patch. I had a lot of loss at that point, and I just fell out of love with it. <laughs> But it didn't take, it took a, took a little bit, probably took a couple of years. And then I, then, then DJ said, Hey, let's go join. He had been playing some Pathfinder Society. So said, Hey, come on, go to play some Pathfinder Society with me. And I'm like, okay, that sounds like fun. And I was ready to make a return. So I did. And I haven't stopped since. And now I play, as I mentioned, I play more than ever. Uh, it's crazy. I've said five games a week is a lot or every other week. That's a lot of games. Okay, that is a good color for like. I'm still debating on what I'm going to do these cuffs because it almost looks like he's wearing boot tops. And I've seen that sort of thing in like World of Warcraft for like Janai with hooves and things like that. No, I'm not going to paint the pokey tool. I mean, some things I just like as is. There does get to be paint on it, but the other thing is, you, you, by the way, is evidence that you need to always prime your metal figures. This thing does get paint on it, but I mean, if you see, it's fairly clean. So the, the does not stick. Paint does not stick to metal. But I love it. And by the way, I I want to know if anyone here is going to get the Reaper swag boxes for the for the con because I think I'm buying the entire thing. I actually like all these silly accessories, you know, that come with it. There's going to be a special pokey tool in that in that set. So there's also going to be. I also want to get. I want to get the. Um, I basically am buying accessories for my desk when I move upstairs. Um. So yeah, I mean, I I want the uh, the paintbrush holder. That's the nautical themed one. The three. I think it's three D printed. I really want that. <laughs> I also want all the minis and all the paints and everything. And it's all pirate themed stuff, so of course I want it. Uh, all right, I got 15 minutes to go here. Let's see. That's a good base color. What have I got for a fall up color for denim? Maybe I'll just lighten it. A lot of times when I'm doing um, when I'm doing layering, I actually just like to take. Uh, and add white to the base color. I, I find it works. You don't want to add a lot because you want to keep it close to, you know, the colors close together. 
Unless it's a really, I find if it's a really sharp fold or whatever, then you can get away with going with a, a, a much lighter color. But beware, you still want a, you still want to keep your transitions, you don't want your transition lines. So you want to keep it minimal. I hope people are getting some info out of this too. Uh... I hope everyone's having fun. Let me know. Let me know. Give me feedback too. If you, uh, if there's anything you want to see for the stream, as I said, I have plans. Uh, yeah, welcome back, Shanur. I have plans of things. One of the things I would like to do, if you're following me and you have your own hero you would like to see immortalized on the stream, I am always up for ideas from other people. But I'm gonna say you have to be following me first. I mean, follows are free. So if you want to see something, uh, you can drop me a line. Either you can DM me here, or you can, uh, or you can find me on Twitter at muses underscore touch. I have the links on here, if you want to use them, um, or if you know me in real life, just you know hit me up, <laughs> and I will gladly add your hero to the list of the heroes of the Painted Hero Tavern. Um, I'm definitely would be happy. I would love to do it. And then who knows if I get subscriptions, maybe I'll sell you your mini and I'll sell it at a discount if you're a subscriber because you're already paying me or Twitch or both. So why not? I want to make it so that there's some fun stuff for, for people who go above and beyond and just people who just watch. I want there to be some rewards. And I want to make this so that people basically, you know, if you do sub to me, I want to make sure it's worth your while. But that's jumping the gun here. I have to still stream enough time. Can I drag? Well, actually, you can still do a dragon. It's a, remember, it's not just heroes. I will actually paint. It's anything from, like, any of my games I'm in. Um, so, you know, I said, you can even, we can even do terrain. If you want, I can do a dragon. And, you know, I'll th I throw it in the queue, and you follow me, so you qualify. Uh, yeah, I would, I'm not against painting a dragon. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, when I get my, uh, when I get the Reaper Pirate Ship, I'm thinking about streaming. That may be kind of boring, though. I'm debating because it's so large that a lot of it's going to be the same thing. But if you guys enjoy my chat, maybe it's not so boring. Um, but I'm thinking about doing that because that is actually going to be, I'm going to paint it up to be the Sea Stinger, which is the ship from the Skull and Shackles stream, uh, stream, yeah. It's going to be the ship from the Skull and Shackles game that has been mentioned a few times. Um, but yeah, you know, you know what, a, there's definitely dragons I think that can be heroes. The pirate... Well, I mean, the thing of it is, I know you say that, but when you're just painting like a bunch of floorboards and you're just per rushing through it and painting them, you know, brown and maybe washing them or whatever, that's not exciting painting. Um, but I am all for it. If people want me to do it, I'll do it. Uh, I said definitely feedback would, is, would be good. Um, let me know what you guys want. You, you, you're here to watch me, so I want to make sure that you are entertained. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I'm planning on doing. But yeah, so yeah, if you want to see your heroes, that was one thing I'm thinking of doing. Uh, paint alongs. You know, I know people do kind of enjoy painting along. And I'm thinking, considering, and there's 15 of you here, uh, let me know if you'd be interested in me posting uh, minis. I'll figure out like a cue and having me post up what minis they are I'm working on so that if you wanted to paint along, you could paint along. Let me know. I uh, said comment or whatever. That would be cool. I, said, I just want to make a stream that's fun for all of us, not just me. A little bit of a thingy there. Yeah, okay. I mean, I would like, it seems like people do like paint alongs. So. Uh, I would, yeah, I'd be happy to, you know, you have to keep an eye out on Twitter. I, if I can figure out, I'm still figuring out Streamlabs and, and, and Twitch. 
if I can figure out how to put a up and coming, maybe it, oh, maybe it's one of the panels. I'll put it as there's an up and coming and I'll put a picture of it and probably a link or something to where you can buy it and I'll do it. I don't know if I can plan a month in advance, but I'll try to do it a couple weeks in advance at least. You know, Bunny Eleven. What did you do, Kevin? Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to flip in. Yeah, I wasn't, I'm not sure if this is a family friendly stream or not. For some reason, Streamlab seems to think what you're doing. Don't worry, I didn't have put a perma ban on that. I just like, for some reason, whatever you're saying. I'll tell you what, when you come back, type it out but put spaces between all the letters. <laughs> I haven't figured out if this is a mature stream or not. If it's for mature people only and I can start dropping, you know, bad words, then I'll shut that filter off. But I haven't figured that out yet, so that's why it's on. Sorry, Kevin. I know you're good. I wonder if I can... Really? Are you serious? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, that will set it off, unfortunately. But everybody knows what that is. I'm sorry, Kevin. As I said, yeah, I know, Shino, what's mature? You know what? When I do the, the, the murder hobos, I said I'm on a, a Twitch stream for D&D, &D and it's called Murder Hobo Inc. And one of the things it says, it's for mature audiences only. And I said, yeah, it better be, because God knows there's absolutely no one on the cast that's mature, so somebody better be mature. I know none of us are. Sure that's me. DJ, you're the mature one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. I guess DJ is the most mature of all of us. That makes sense. I'm going to add a little more white. All right, so I should at least get through his pants before I have to pop off the air. Uh, let's see. We can go a little lighter. <laughs> Chris, I was saying earlier, I absolutely, I actually was talking about you guys earlier <clears throat> and telling people they should go follow you. Um, they should go follow your stream and, and pop on. You have a really good mini, mini painting stream. I said, the sad thing is I never catch Jen that much because it's, it's always on weekends when I'm doing weekend stuff. But when, during the week, I do, um, I do like to tune in when I'm at work and work about and yeah i'll pop on there even when i'm working and try to make comments when when there's a reason to do so i have to be sneaky about it though but uh i was saying er i was saying earlier i actually really miss playing with you on there because i had so much i'm gonna use a little brush uh i had a lot of fun playing the campaign with you and you know you should come back and do one shots with us course right now there's been a bunch of new players <laughs> so a lot of us veterans are kind of uh we basically on murder hobo inc we allow we put new players as a priority so uh so those of us who are already playing campaigns and whatever uh we end up um we basically end up taking the night off or we go on chat and just troll them which is kind of fun yeah, no, you're on, you're, I know, that's the problem. You work when I work, Jen. Uh, so, I'm so happy you guys made it, though. I said, if I can catch you more on Sundays, but that's, that's a, that's a gaming day. <laughs> uh, Bi-weekly Sundays, that's a gaming day, and that's also when I'm doing my, my store thing once a month. And then next week, we have a, we're going to have a cookout, so. You do, well, you do work. You're a full-time streamer, Chris. You know, maybe that's, hey, if I can get, if I could get like 800 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, hey, if it happens, I'll be surprised. But if I could get 800 subscribers, which is what I would probably need to make up for my income from work. And by the way, it's not that high. Alright, if you do the math. Oh, wait. 
I gotta figure. I gotta figure. Maybe I need to rethink my math. No, I think that was I figured it out my salary on a monthly basis and what it would take. At, with all these, and that's only at the five dollar. I have no idea what you actually, what percentage you actually get. His pants are done. Oh, I like that. Uh, I don't know what the percentages you get, but um, I'm pretty sure it's not five bucks. <laughs> I haven't figured any of this stuff out yet. I'm new. Yeah, I like him. Mm, I think I'm going to. I think the line's a little thick. So we can use this guy tomorrow. We just have to be careful not to chip him. <laughs> Chris, you're always joking around. Well, actually, I don't know. Is it work? I assume it is actually work to, it is work to full-time stream. But it's really fun work, so it probably, you know, I said I would imagine it probably doesn't feel a lot like streaming, a lot like work. I, you know what, though? You do have to work hard at taking care of the dog. Lewis is awesome, by the way. I love Lewis. He's so adorable. That's one of the things when I'm working and I hear he that he's cut that you you're snagging him and putting him on the camera, I actually will sneak on there to look because I love Lewis. He's adorable. Oh, all right. I think with that I'm gonna call that good for today because I have I have questions <laughs> on a few things. It said a lot of time. I don't get uh, I don't get all the details in a first pass asking you know a client what they want um, and uh, it's actually my it's my husband may not be paying me but he's still a client <laughs> and I definitely need to get some more details so that's why it's great to have them on messenger or whatever so you can just quickly ask them hey what did you want this painted as or that I like to be, I like to make sure that they get exactly what they want. That's sort of an important thing about doing, working for others. I thought I was going to hate working for others, but I actually really don't. I thought I was going to have a hard time after I painted something, giving it away. And I found that's not the case. I actually really kind of get a, I really find it's really cool that there are minis of mine in other people's houses. And, um... I think that just, it brings me a lot of joy. And plus, I also only have so much room here. It means I don't have to store it. So, so if any of you out there still haven't followed, follow me here, and then you'll know when I go on, I go live. Um, as of right now, my schedule is Saturdays at 12.30, and I'm going to go about, I'm taking Chris's advice, and I'm going to go two hours. I'm going two hours instead of just an hour and a half. Um, so Saturdays at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, and I'm doing uh, Mondays, 6 o'clock Eastern. All times are Eastern because I live in Eastern. Uh, please follow me, although I have hit 50. So I, you know, it's now it's only a matter of time. Please tune in. Uh, you know, I said, I'd like to affiliate so I can unlock emotes and all sorts of fun things and, uh, channel points. I really want to have some, I, okay. I vowed I'm not, not going to have, uh, hydrate. I'm not going to have stretch. I'm not going to have the things where you basically, uh, interrupt my painting. Cause I really want to paint. Um, but I may have other things. I don't know if I want that soundboard that I've heard because there's a scream in it that would scare the friggin' crap out of me, and that's really not good when you're painting. Um, but I do want to come up with some fun things for channel points, and I do want to said I want to do some em emotes. I am a mini paint. I'm not, sorry, I'm a graphic designer by trade, so I can thankfully make up my own. Uh, I can do a lot of my own stuff. I made the logos and such for this. Uh, yeah, that's actually, that's probably it. But I really actually thought that was a fun thing to blow channel points on or other little sound effects. I think I want to add that. Um, I am considering on the Painted Here Tavern logo whether or not I actually want to make it merch. 
Um, if you, if those of you who mini paint, hopefully you'll understand the joke of the of the uh, the little catch line that's underneath that says, "We wash our brushes in beer." Well, any of you who mini paint know should know exactly what that that refers to. Uh, and I hate to explain the joke, but of course, you know, I wash my brushes in my Coke. You know, maybe not all the time, but some of the time. I don't drink my paint water, though, thankfully. So I'm considering it. If people want it done, I'm considering making stickers and doing stuff for giveaways, too. Uh, I, I said I just want this to be a fun place. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other announcements I want to make. Um, uh, I hope I see you guys on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> see? See? There you go. Yeah. Well, if you... Well, think of this. It is a small brush. Hey, uh, Jonathan, don't worry. I'm actually at the end of the stream. It's 2 o'clock. It's 2.30, so it's time for me to go. I'm only going to do it about... I'm going to do it for about two hours of the thing. Maybe pop in on Monday night. Because I said I'm streaming Monday night, 6 o'clock to 8. I'm really glad you popped in. And if you haven't followed me, follow me, Jonathan. Although I am there, and I'm happy. And uh, thank you, guys. You made this the best first stream. And thank you for following you made this the best first stream, I think, ever. You guys were all amazing. I love you all. You're all part of my mini family. Uh, I don't think I get to say that enough about you guys. Um, and you came from, like, all walks of my life. There are goblins from Michael Mortar's, you know, go goblin army. There's, they said there were, there's uh, Chris, who is my murder hobo side. Uh, and, of course, uh, Monica and Kevin are... Bunny Eleven, I love that name, and uh, Crimson. <clears throat> they, of course, are real-life friends who I hopefully will do a lot more painting with once Monica moves here. And thank you, Mini Mommy. Yeah. Oh, and people from Chris's, yeah, people from Chris's stream. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, this is great, and this was probably better than I ever expected. So, thank you so much. Give me feedback. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, I'm easy to find. Uh, you can, uh, and I'm on Discord too, under, feel free. So, I would love to know what people think and what people, you know, people would like to see from this. Other than me sitting here painting. I may even do gaming, who knows. Uh, you know, now I got this channel. It might be fun to do some actual play. I don't know if I will, but, uh, you know, it's there in case uh, I get a group that wants to do it. And I find the time to do it, which is the big thing. So I uh, hope you all have a wonderful afternoon and it doesn't look like any of my friends are freaking on. So no, none of my people I'm following are streaming. So maybe I'll just send this all because I want to raid someone. I think I'll send this all to Miniature's Den. They're good. They're one of the Reaper family. So, all right, let's see if I can figure out, I believe it's backslash raid. And Thank you again all for tuning in, and you have a lovely afternoon, and I seriously hope I see you guys on Monday night, where I will continue painting Yento. Thank you so much. All right, so let's see if this works. Yes, it's going to work. All right, and he's awesome, and I actually should follow his channel. <laughs> so... Oh, by the way, if you're on Discord, you uh, yeah, that's the other thing. I'll find out if you guys want me to do a Discord channel, too, because there's 9 million of them already. So have a great day, everyone. Let's see. Oh, I can go. Bye. I am falling. I see.
Oh my god. Jesus Christ.